All right, so Merry Christmas to me. Look at all these parts I've got. Let's unbox this shit. So first off, oil pan gasket. We're gonna need that because it's dripping out super hard. Next off we have this little rubber thingy. Because mine is split for the axle. Which is pretty good. Then we have uh, a water pump. Definitely needs one of those because they like to die on these cars, especially when it's old. Next off, a V belt. Awesome. We're gonna make stuff run. Another little belt that we need. Some nice brake fluid. Dot four. Brake lines. Definitely needs those because mine are pretty bad. Don't wanna die. We got some bushings for the front arms because they are super split. And then to top it all off, the tensioner, the belt, everything in one set, which is awesome. So that's pretty much it. I got a bunch more of these here, some more coolant and that's pretty much it. Look at all this awesome stuff. Hell yeah. Merry Christmas to me. There it is, Calibra back on the road in all of its glory. So here it is, the Calibra interior. So there's a few problems. First off, the heater slider. It goes to the right, it pulls, but when you go to the left it doesn't pull back, so you can't set it cold, you can only set it very hot. And that's kind of a problem, because it's gonna be summer. So that's the first, then I have to swap in the radio. Gotta fix that door panel because it's rattling and then I have to fix this door because the window goes up too much and it hits the roof right there. The first problem is this thing, this mechanism because there up there is the cable, that yellow thingy that's the cable also those awesome rice floor mats gotta have those well they were free so I can have those until I replace them and I can order a new this one and this so it's gonna look nice so I'm gonna work on the door first hopefully it's not gonna be too hard it's just a few bolts and then hopefully I can uh, set the mechanism we shall see I've peeled off our awesome protective system. Now I gotta fix this slide somehow. This is not attached to anything, so that could be something. Who knows? When it goes up. See, it gets stuck somewhere. So, yeah, first off, the window goes super high. That's why this is for. You have to put it in there so it stops when it gets to that level. So first off, I'm gonna make it go down. Then I need to put this silly thing in here like this so it sets in nicely. Then I have to put in the bolt. So I got this all tightened down right here, kind of center. I think that's where it's supposed to be. Let's try. Yeah, so 
so yeah it goes nicely but then it gets kind of stuck for some reason and then the motor goes reverse which is silly I'm gonna put the panel back on so I'm just gonna take these out oh this one's crusty in pieces oh shit okay it's all right I'm just gonna put it back in here this one's fucked already so whatever finishing touches nice and there you have it let's close this sucker closes nicely no rattles I like it test the window works mint so yeah I have no idea how to fix this I said it so that it stops up here but the rest well I have no freaking clue so I just glued it back together and hope to get some Calibra experts on this tell me what's wrong so let's see all right on to the damn mechanism for the heater so this is the mechanism it operates this lever and there's a mechanism that opens and closes in there and then there's this cable right here and this arm so now I got it out of that hole there's a hole right there and now I want to put some grease on this and inside there so uh, it will hopefully hopefully do something Mmm, greasy. It's gonna s fucking grease shit. Okay, so now I unhooked the damn cable. Let's pull it down. So here it is, stretched out. And so you. So you pull it up. And then I move the slider back. And it doesn't return. So I gotta, probably got to take the center console out. Now I'm taking the damn console out because I need to fix the slider right here. Heat. So what I'm going to do is get this clock out. And then there's bolts in there which I need to unscrew. So yeah, I got that bolt out. But it's holding somewhere here. Probably clips or whatever I have no idea there's this stupid thing either down here freaking annoying stuff I can see the damn problem here I don't know if you can see this but there's a yellow thingy back there which is the freaking cable and you see when I pull back it, the plastic thingy goes away and it shouldn't because it should be hooked right there where it stops it should be hooked right there and it got unhooked so when you push back the entire freaking line goes there oh my god after like half an hour of jerking this thing I finally got it in you can see the cable that pink yellowy thing see the freaking cable goes nicely now it all works nice resistance now you can see down here hot and then cold hot cold hot cold <sighs> so yeah I did it without a taking out the center console thanks to my small hands enough shit for today I'm tired of this so I'm in my Honda and I'm gonna try to take out this gosh darn radio I have no idea how this goes I guess you need to use these somehow so quick tutorial on how to remove your pioneer stereo push this button it's gonna pop out and then slide it to the right a bit jiggled out there it goes it flies off you break it that's good there we have it then you have this plastic thingy you can use these little suckers and just kind of pry them off where these little holes are 
pull it off. And then, this side, you can see that ridge, there we go. And it comes out. Nice, then on hook with shoe. All right, here it is, radio installed, got the USB and everything. Wired the splitter thingy in there, so you can plug in the modern radios. The antenna's pretty screwed. Look at that wiring, oh my God, that's horrible. But we don't need antennas, USB for the win. And actually, boom, it works. Okay, so here I have brand new spacer rings for the wheels, so I can put the wheels from my Honda onto the Calibra, because the Calibra has 56.6 .6 diameter inside and the Honda had 56.1 so half a millimeter didn't really work so got these let's mount those bad boys up <laughs> 